a cryptic TikTok that said, quote, why do nice people choose the wrong people to date, which fans are assuming is a sub TikTok at Olivia Potton. The first thought was that Kai was acting, but then uh, that quote turns out to be from movies. So that's why people thought maybe this was just a bit. But then Kai posted another TikTok just now saying that she got stood up on a coffee date and no, that date was not with Olivia because Olivia is currently in New York and Kai is at college at UCLA. Uh, the comments, of course, are going off on this latest TikTok with fans wanting to know if Kai and Olivia have split up. Then another TikTok surfaced by a user SF Crawford, which might explain what is going on here as her video has the text, quote, when you guys break up and two weeks later, Later, Olivia Ponton tries to fly him out to LA with the caption, February was a difficult time. The ex-boyfriend she's referring to is the same guy that Olivia duetted with back in February, asking him to be her Valentine. Well, Kai commented on SF's TikTok saying, quote, when the truth comes out, which might be referring to how Kai and Olivia were actually together when Olivia allegedly tried to fly this guy out for Valentine's Day. Because according to Olivia's Teen Vogue feature, Yes, this article is from June and Olivia said that her and Kai were secretly dating four months before that, that article's release, which would put us to February. So it seems like Kai and Olivia were dating in February, but Olivia was also sliding or duetting with this guy on TikTok. Uh, guys, what do you think is going on here? Are they broken up? Rodrigo? Uh, look, <laughs> I love that the both of you went Rodrigo. <laughs> Rodrigo, you love love, but what yes, do you think based I, on the receipts here? I just, first of all, come on, Gabby, in the investigation. Oh. I, I, the way that you built this, There's let's go. There's a lot go. of pieces here. There's a lot of moving pieces here. <laughs> Many moving parts, and you subject. brought them all together. Here let's it go. Is. <laughs> but look, I just got really upset about the flying guy, the, 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 the guy that, that was flown in. Like, why is this happening? Like, I just, I understand that some people go through this like hidden relationship phase because of course a lot of stars and TikTokers, they have their lives out there all the time and sometimes they just want to figure out what's going on before they actually come out with their relationship to make sure that they really want this to be a thing because in the end when they come out people start weighing in but boo boo don't be on a hidden relationship and be doing odd stuff. That pisses me off. What do you guys think? I don't like this. Well, but it was, if, the, if it was true, first of all, it is a legend because we don't know. That girl, SF Crawford, she could just be trying to stir the pot. We don't yeah. know if that's really true or not. Uh, but people remembered Olivia, you know, making this duet back in February when they didn't even know about Kai because she hadn't posted about Kai yet. They were secretly dating for four months. The timeline adds up, but that first month of a relationship usually is figuring out what this is. So like, is that cheating, Jake? Um, yeah, that's tough to say. I think for some people, you know, we've talked about it in the past, but sometimes that is the, that's the vibe phase of a relationship when two people are just vibing and that can go on Thanks, for more Grace than a Hall. that can exactly. go on for more than a month. <laughs> exactly. It could go on for three months. It could go on for six months, you know. Some people just aren't good at really expressing their boundaries or what they expect the relationship to be and they just ride it out. And then things like this happen and people are confused about it, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, Liberty Mae Edwards is saying they broke up over a TikTok. Yes, yeah, so I think that's the TikTok that we brought up. I yeah. think people are like they put it together and I do have to think my investigative journalism was there's a lot of these TikTok tea accounts that helped me out through this Hannah Kush and Jordan would know both had the receipts here so thank you girls for helping and piece this together it's a good question by the way Gabby why do nice people date the wrong people because you're too nice and too trusting exactly it's, it's usually... I think it's the, na the naivety of it all like but I'm gonna say this Mr. Jake if someone is ever with me from the get-go, they're with me. Don't be trying to be clowning around. Don't be saying we were vibing. No, boo -boo, <laughs> you were with me. Don't be flying people out anywhere or do anything. That there's no vibing face for Rodrigo. Boo -boo. <laughs> like I, I don't like this idea. I don't like it. Wow. I think that maybe they had broken up prior to this TikTok surfacing. And I think they might have broken up for distance because if Kai is at UCLA and Olivia is a model, so maybe she's like doing the New York model route, mm -hmm. I could understand them being like, yeah, like long distance sucks, like let's figure this out. And then later this happening. I think they had broken up before this TikTok came out, but we'll never know the actual timeline, right? Yeah, but also they would have been together for what, like seven months total? 
Yeah, if they had been together since February, yeah. That's, yeah. I think that's almost a year. That's a long time. Maybe and one day we will know the actual timeline, though, when one of them writes their memoir. <laughs> well, there are, when I wrote this this morning, they, Kai was still following Olivia, and also Kai's latest post on, last post on Instagram was from a couple of days ago with her and Olivia, and Olivia had, like, commented something along the lines of, like, you'll always be my, like, a comfy person, or something, like, something along those lines where it kind of felt like maybe they had broken up amicably and then now this TikTok had surfaced and now it's like there's there's tea there's drama yeah no but, but I do feel that you're right though that the distance really took a toll on them because in the end of the day if, if it's true that they started dating in February they would be dating only for seven months and let's say that out of those seven months maybe a few like half maybe of those months they were like splitting LA New York so it, it and also the how old are they? Like they well, if if uh, Kai is in school, I think they're both around like 18, 19 it, it, years it, old. You know what I'm saying? Like they're so young, things just end up moving faster. Like in the, I still don't understand the whole like vibe and let's do stuff outside, but I also get it. They're all young. They are not really trying to get married right now. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, if you're just tuning in, so we are talking about how there's a lot of speculation that Kai Novak and Olivia Ponton have broken up after about seven months of dating. Uh, now, this confirmation, we do not have officially them saying it's over. The closest thing we have is if you peep Kai's TikTok account, there's been a couple of TikToks about one about her saying getting stood up on a date, which doesn't seem to be with Olivia because Olivia's in New York and Kai's at UCLA. And there's another one uh, where that Kai had posted where she was crying and it was about, you know, why do nice people always end up with the wrong person? So we think based on Kai's TikTok, they have broken up. And then there's another TikTok that's going around where allegedly back in February when Kai and Olivia had just started dating, that Olivia had was like flirting with this guy who was in a relationship and may or may not have flown him out to LA. So that is the tea that we have for there. And yes, you're right, Sophia. We do not know for sure if they have broken up. We just have this information. So let you guys decide what you want to do with that information. No, I'm curious to see what's going to come out because I feel that this is like just warming up. Mm -hmm. And then I feel that soon enough we're going to know more. We're going to see both sides of the story. And then I know me some Gabby Conti and she's going to piece things together. (laughs) And I'm ready. There should be statements soon. I feel like we're going to get statements soon. Either they're going to be or they'll just post a happy picture of them back together and like they're fine. Or they'll just say, hey, you know, we grew apart. There'll be some statement. There has to be because now the fans want to know. There's so much fan interest in this. Like, they have to address it one way or another. Hopefully, maybe just a press conference. That's what I think people should start doing when to announce their breakups. We we have the podium here at Hollywire. You can just come in uh, to our studios and give your press conference about your relationship status. And I'm never and I'm never against what I always say, having you, Gabby, interview all these people oh, yeah. and clear uh, it uh, up. <laughs> like I think we need to find a way for any online drama that ever comes up, we have Gabby sitting down with everybody at their homes. Like you know, a full on like <laughs> We like want Dr. it to Phil. be like a, a you know, an Oprah, but I, I my guess is that it would turn into like a Jerry Springer. You know? <laughs> um, but guys, uh, it is, it's trivia time. If you're just tuning in, uh, we are doing Beyonce trivia. So if you are in the beehive, you need to make some noise. We need your help on these questions. And if you get a high score, we'll give you a shout out. First question, what is Beyonce's middle name? Is it um, Celestine, I hope I'm saying that right, Solange, Giselle, or Desiree? Mm-hmm. Uh, Celestine, I don't know. I thought, yeah, Celestine. Well, Celestine. Solange is her sister's yep. name. I There's think Desiree, all... Desiree or Celestine. It's Giselle. It's Giselle, right? It's Giselle? I think um, it's Giselle. Beyonce, Giselle Knowles. That yeah. sounds right. Mm-hmm. That does sound right. That is correct. One mm-hmm. out of one. We are crushing it. Okay, what was the name of the all... Oh my God, this makes me feel ancient, you guys. <laughs> what was the name of the all-girl group Beyonce was in? Oh. Uh, was it the Spice Girls? Was it En Vogue? Was it Destiny's Child? Or was it TLC? I wish it was in Vogue. It was Destiny's, Destiny's Child. Child. Good. If Jake didn't know the answer, <laughs> yeah, this I would have been, been like, okay, well, uh, okay, it is, yeah, Destiny's <laughs> Child. Uh, next question: Beyonce made her movie debut in which film? Was it Dreamgirls? Was it Austin Powers in Gold Member? Was it The Pink Panther? 
or was it Zoolander? It was Austin Powers in Goldmember, where yes. she famously yeah. played Foxy, Foxy Cleopatra. Cleopatra. But did she have a cameo in Zoolander? Because wasn't Zoolander out oh. before Goldmember? Oh, that's a good point. Um, that's a great I, point. I don't think she was in Zoolander. Right? She, like there, a cameo, there, you're A saying. cameo. Like, not as, like, a main role, but was there, yeah. like, oh. a like scene? Like, they walk in, and she kind of, like, walks like at by a party. and says something. Right? Oh. I kind of oh. vaguely remember that. I have or seen maybe we're thinking time. there was a ton of celebrity cameos in the second Zoolander that there, recently yes, came out. So maybe that's yeah. what we're thinking. Including I think Justin it's, Bieber, your yeah. favorite, Gabby. I think it's Gold Member. Yeah, I, I do think, think it's, it's uh, yeah. Yeah. And that's correct. Yes. And you know what? No one gave her crap for being a gold member at, from coming from being a pop star, right? You know, they all they all supported exactly. it. Exactly. Um, what was the name of Beyonce's solo debut album? Was it Dangerously in Love, Survivor, B Day, or I Am Sasha Fierce? Ooh, mm. come on, Jake. What Let's do you see think? If, any, if anyone knows the answers to this one, guys, guys, you make some noise. Come on, Jake. If you know the answer I don't know. to her, I mean, came out when I was probably like four. Okay. Well, Survivor it's, is a Destiny's Child yeah. song, so okay. it's not Survivor. It's okay. dangerous. It's dangerously in love. love, right? Yeah, that's correct. Oh my God, guys, we're we're <laughs> doing so well. Uh, what song does Beyonce sing? The line, "I swore I'd never fall again, but this doesn't even feel, feel like, like falling. falling." Is it Halo? Is it All Night? Is it Broken Hearted Girl? Or is it Crazy in Love? Jake. <laughs> I only know Halo and Crazy in Love out of those well, two. Well, it's one of those two. Yeah. So, so you are you are you are there. So what do you think? Uh, I guess it's Halo based you are on the correct. way that Gabby's correct. saying. <laughs> yes, guys, we are in the beehive. Who did Beyonce marry in 2008? Was it Kanye West? Sorry, was it Kanye West? <laughs> it's Hove. Jay Z. Sean Combs or Ice Cube. Definitely Ice Cube. Yeah, Ice Cube. <laughs> Jay Z. Jay Z. They're still married. Yeah. After lots of turbulence. Lots of drama. Uh -huh. and something that happened in an elevator. Remember that? Uh -huh. oh, yeah. I wish we were covering that. Is that one of the trivia questions? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Uh, which track earned Beyonce's Song of the Year at the 2010 Grammy Awards? Same was ladies. it song of the year? Was it Diva? Was it yeah? If it if I were a boy, was it Single Ladies or was it Broken Hearted Girl? It was Single Ladies. It was Single Ladies. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh. See yeah, that I that's remember. Correct. If you like it, you better put a ring on it. Um, as a seven-year-old, Beyonce won a talent show singing which Beatles song? Let it be, Yesterday, Yellow Submarine, or Imagine. Wait, I do remember this trivia question once. And Imagine is not a Beatles song, it's a John Lennon song. And I think that was the correct answer. And I was yeah. like, that's not right, though. This, this sounds familiar. Right? Uh, it yeah. was Ima Imagine, I think, is the yeah. right answer. But it's not, it should be what song by yeah. a Beatle. Poorly written. Where's the intern <sighs> who did this? Get Bring them, them in. Me. Kelsey. Bring them in. All right, I'm going to I'm going to say imagine. Okay. Also, imagine. can you imagine if it was yellow submarine? Like there is nothing vocally. <laughs> She's like, "Oh, interesting. Yeah. submarine." It's imagine, which is a John Lennon song, <laughs> people. Bring wow. the intern. <laughs> So we got an 8 out of 8, which is amazing for us. Uh, how did you guys get? Let us know your scores on that one. And you know, Liberty Mae Edwards, I feel like you're going to get, you should get a point for yesterday, because I think if she was to sing a Beatles song, it would be yesterday. But that was a John Lennon song. Uh, all right, guys. Well, what do you think is going on between Olivia Pond and Kai Novak? Are they still together? I'm Gabby Conti. I'm Jay Corvitz. I'm Rodrigo Verandas. And follow us at Hollywire for your 24-7 celebrity news.